road trip. Gotta catch a big one. I'm not scared. What do you guys think? Don't tell. Do you have a guess what we're getting for Christmas? <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. Do you think it's the best Christmas present ever? Maybe. 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 Not quite a Nintendo Switch though, right? <laughs> All right, we are on the road. We have to make one stop to pick up an essential tool that we need to use before we go get the Christmas gifts. What do you think, Ryan? I've just got to keep this vehicle moving. We have the first stop done and now we are heading to our pickup spot for our amazing Christmas present. Odin, are you happy? You sound so happy. He's excited. Painted desert. They're beautiful. That's the only one left for me. Running good. So good. There's oh, you don't want to be a hair sheep. That's cool. it's a little. That's a little one. I really <laughs> want to be.
Stay. Stay, kitty. All right. You might have to ask them to come out. I don't know. Kitty sees. She's stopping. Oh, she stopped it. You be careful. Right. Come on, girls. Come on, girlies. There you go. Good girl. Rosemary, stay back. You're okay, right? You didn't get hurt, did you? I'm good. All right, all right. Follow that fence line, girls. They don't know what to think. Dogs don't know what to think either. Khaleesi, down. Titus, stand down. Gotta train. Gotta train the dogs. Gotta train the cows. Gotta train the goats. So my two herd queens, look at that. Coming to the front to investigate closer. Isn't that funny? It's okay. It's okay, girls. It's okay. What pretty girls we got. Hey, girls. Welcome home, ladies. <laughs> they are so cute. Hi, baby. They're a little scared right now, but they're super sweet. Really tame. They're Piney Woods cattle. And they have been bred to be a smaller, tamer line of the Piney Woods by our friend Wayne at Swanson Family Farm. He was developing a breeding line to create a tamer cow to be used at schools. So, Little Lashes, the baby, she's five months old. Her and her mama are what remains of the smaller tamer breeding line that they were developing for school use. So she makes the perfect, easy to handle, small homestead, dual purpose. So although they have not been used for dairy before, they will be now. The perfect homestead dairy cow for us was going to be a low milk producer anyway. So we wanted a cow that does very good on forage and brush like our goats and these are definitely fit that criteria they have high parasite resistance they are very easy to manage and all around just going to be a great homestead cow for our family and i couldn't be happier best christmas ever what do you girls think what is it? That's a big goat, huh? <laughs> We're gonna keep them over here with the goats for the time being until we get them used to our new homestead and then we will let them out on the cow side of the pasture. Hey girl! This is a good sign. She's coming straight towards where we are. See, I'm not that far away. Oh, the water trough. She wants to get a drink of water, maybe. If Kitty doesn't try to chase her off. <laughs> Kitty was just rearing up at her. And I said, I don't think that that's wise. So Kitty's not scared of the cow. And the cow's not scared of Kitty. <sighs> Move, Autumn. Thank you. Oh, you hear her mooing for the baby? It's a real deep mama moo. Oh, she says, I need my baby. That's a good mama. 
The dogs don't know what to think. This is this is new to them. We will continue to monitor the situation and make adjustments as needed for sure. They will get used to it. They will. So it's just been a few minutes that we've been standing out here watching and things have already quieted and calmed down. You see Khaleesi is just on the other side there. She actually went and lay down in her shelter and chilled out uh, the goat, the goats. How many times am I gonna do that in these videos? The cows are eating some hay and seeming pretty chill and relaxed. We are all super excited. Titus is still kind of a little bit too excited, but he does have a lead line and a fence between him and the cows, so hopefully he won't bark at them too much, and he'll get used to it as well pretty quickly. Me. Take the time to dig deep underneath this red heat. We could really meet. Layers It's time to lose these naysayers We're better off The air will be richer And everything so much easier We don't need to work so hard We usually find that with our goats, it takes three days for them to learn a new routine and become okay with their new surroundings and situation. So we're guessing that's gonna be the same for the, go for the goats, there it is, for the cows as well. So hopefully before long we'll be in here and they'll be running up to us and eating out of our hands. Or maybe not, but we'll see and we will take you guys along for that journey. She is still at it. She keeps going from one teat to the other, to the other, to the other. I think mom is empty, but she's still trying to get some. <laughs> what a sweet mama. What a sweet baby. Oh, my heart is so full. We are so blessed.